In this tutorial, I would like to have a look at creating cavities for a dye block. So um, I've created a rudimentary dye block here. Um, so the next step is to come over and do a part copy of the part that we want to create the cavity from. So um, if I just pick it over here, it comes up with our options. Um, if, if the part contains um, geometry or um, surfacing as well as the solid you can include those as well um, this is going to be plastic so we'll want to add shrinkage so 2% um, is listed as 0.02 and you can see that the part is actually getting larger to reflect that shrinkage so um, we can finish that and um, because we already have a solid in here this comes through as construction geometry. So if I hide my die block, you can see that we actually have a hole going down the middle of it. Um, now this is gonna cause problems when we do our subtraction because what you'll end up with is a like a, a spindle sitting in the middle of the cavity. Um, so we will use the delete holes and um, we can just pick up on these and delete these from the part copy that we have um, like so so now that we have a um, full solid we can we can continue on and um, do our cavity so we use the boolean tools here um, we want to do a subtraction so we want to subtract from this block here and we use this as our um, surface effectively that we're going to remove um, as you can see that it hides the part copy when um, it finishes the process um, so you can see that we've got our cavity now without any um, sort of blemishes in the middle so um, what happens if you want to create multiple cavities uh, well what we can do is if we create a coordinate system and I just want to base this off the existing one. So we'll just move it to the left um, x direction uh, 80 mil. And um, we're not going to rotate it or anything. Um, but it does give, give us the ability to do that. So we created our coordinate system. And um, for this to be able to apply to that part copy, I need to actually move it up the tree. So I'll just click and drag it there. And then going into my um, part copy, I can um, edit the definition. Go into properties, and up here we've got the ability to add it to a coordinate system. As you can see, um, when we complete the process, the um, part copy has moved. So what we could do is create a second coordinate system over to the right and um, attach a new part copy into that coordinate system and create a second cavity using the subtraction tool.